Hey guys, welcome to another Drew's Reviews. Coming at you today with something from Arby's. I got a couple items actually from Arby's. Um, after I did my 600 episode, it seemed like... Um, 600 subscriber special, sorry. It seemed like people were interested in some longer run videos. So uh, we're going to review a couple items today. I've got a new sandwich from Arby's. <clears throat> it's called the Triple Cheese Arby BLT. So it's got, uh, I'm just looking at, there's a sign right in front of me, luckily. Um, <clears throat> so lettuce, roast beef, cheese, I think like their three cheese ranch sauce, bacon, and I think the cheese is three different types of cheese. So, And then I've got their um, potato cakes, which are basically hash browns, but um, apparently they had them before. I don't remember trying them, so... We're going to give them a go today. If I did try them, it would have been so long ago it was before I did reviews. So She gave me a lot of ketchup. I asked her what goes best. Yeah, these are definitely just hash browns. So there you go. Crispy and golden. Uh, these are two for 219 or two for 229 something like that. Not overly priced. I think McDonald's are paying that for one almost. Um, so let's try it without any ketchup or anything first. Hot. Oh my god, it's hot. Whew. It's scalding, guys. And I don't think it's even fresh out of the fryer unless they just happen to put a batch down, but... Um, yeah, it's good. It's, um, it's a hash brown. Uh, lots of potato in it, though. I think you can actually buy these. They look like the ones you can buy from Cavendish. I think Cavendish has something very similar to this. I wouldn't be surprised if that's your supplier. Let's try it with a bit of ketchup. That was her recommendation. Maybe there was a better sauce I could have chosen, but ketchup for a hash brown sounds pretty on point, so... There we go. Catch up. Hot. Okay. So again, very greasy. But as far as fast food hash browns go, that's that's up there. That's pretty good. I'm gonna give that a seven out of 10, solid. All right, let's move on to the burger. Or sandwich, I guess, technically. It's a big one. Uh, this was 8.49. And it's here for a, I don't know if it's here for a limited time. I assume it is, but. Oh, and it's on the, um, what do you call this bun? I don't know if it's a cheese bun or onion bun. I think it's an onion bun. I'm going to have to take this out so you can take a look at it. But my God. Oh, my God. Guys, this is so heavy. So heavy. So cheesy. There you go. It is a mess of a sandwich. Um, I don't know where to take a bite from. It's so messy. Let's... Uh, Let's try right here, I guess. Whoa. Immediately salt. Hmm. I mean, it's good. It's, you know, they're Arby's roast beef, which I like. Hmm. The bun's good. It's nice and soft. I don't know if they toast their buns. Yeah, it's toasted. Um, the ranch kind of gives it a little extra kick. I don't think you'd be able to decipher the three cheeses. 
it's just it's a lot for a sandwich um and i guess there's tomato on it i didn't see it on the photo there but i guess there's tomato on it as well because i have tomato on mine so uh i'm gonna say it's a lot so i dread to actually look up the nutritional information i feel like the sodium levels on this thing would be close to your daily like limit 2000 or something insane like that but outside of you know it's obviously arby's it's not you know the healthiest place to eat or anything but i would say it's a good sandwich i just for the price point and that shock of sodium i got when i bit into it i don't know if i would give it um that high i'm gonna give it a seven i'll give it when i gave the potato cakes a seven so that's it for today guys i uh, hope you liked the bit longer format let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next one.